Uh, Bam, there we are. Adam BC and Wombat for their excellent casting yesterday during the first day of PTSL. And I believe the last shout-out was Justin.tv, who has a new service out now called Twitch.tv. Go check that out. It's very, very cool. It's all about online gaming streams. But here we go into game one of this lower bracket uh, game, not the finals, <laughs> between <laughs> uh, Protech and Power and Select and Optic Zero. Here we see FXO Optic Zero. He is currently in South Korea with the rest of his FX Open teammates. His teammate here, though, is actually on Team Dignitas. It is Select, the Blue Terran. Up on the top right, we've got Hack Protech playing again as the Orange Zerg and his teammate that just defeated uh, Team Destiny with Complexity, or, yeah, Complexity Minigun and Destiny. It is Power as the Red Terran. So there we go, guys, and a big shout-out to everyone, all the organizers at the PTSL, and for allowing, uh, for them allowing us to cast this tournament. It has been an absolute pleasure bringing this to you guys. Uh, also, want to let you guys know that if you've enjoyed our stuff, please do find us in our social media links. Uh, my primary point of contact is Twitter. You can find me twitter.com slash catspajamasse2. I really appreciate all the follows I get. It really does mean a lot to me, and I'll let you guys know whenever we're going to be doing stuff. And look at this. Optic Zero actually constructing the assimilator for select to mine gas off of. That that's kind of cool and fun. Um, so, we'll also, you can find me at YouTube, um, Twitter, Justin TV, and Facebook.com slash CatsPajamasSC2 as well. That assimilator is just basically an early transfer of 75 minerals. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's very interesting, freeing up some minerals for select. And the fact that his gas income is so quick right now makes me think maybe a Reaper might show up very quickly or mm -hmm. even that fast tech to Banshees once again. But um, Cat's Pajamas, just uh, let you know how to get in touch with him. I'm Ask Joshi. You can check out all my stuff on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.com. All of those slash Ask Joshi. That's where I reside. Working for IGN.com out here in San Francisco along with Cat's Pajamas, but I also do some casting and media stuff for Complexity Gaming. I actually have another cast later tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. That's the V with Complexity Gaming. And one of our 2v2 players, Complexity Cats, who is still in the upper bracket, mm -hmm. will be playing against uh, Six Jacks Coco for that later tonight. So awesome. That's it for my plugs. Let's see how this game is sort of uh, unfolding here. It looks like Protex already taking an expansion inside that very safe Twilight Fortress uh, ginormous base. Yeah, Protech took an expansion, and Optic Zero did the same thing as well. Actually has his Nexus coming down, and going for that Forge once again, of course a little bit delayed because he spent the resources to put up the Assimilator for, uh, his, for his teammate. So, Select is mining off of that. He himself has a hidden factory, though. This sitting at the back of his main, not actually being in incorporated into the wall. The Starport is being constructed under Power's base. Uh-oh, Proxy Starport! We've seen this before with a lot of success, actually, against, uh, I believe it was Assassins. Mm -hmm. um, Select just had a couple of Cloak Banshees taking out tons and tons of cats, uh, workers in that series, so it could actually be seeing a repeat here soon. And Power actually building a base right now at his natural. He's not going to have enough to actually stave off these uh, Cloak Banshees this quickly, I think. No, this is going to be pretty effective. I really like this. Um, they're also going to have a nice wall down as well. He should be able to hold off any sort of early aggression. Optic Zero, of course, is going to contribute. If I have to take a guess again, he's going to contribute with Stargate units as time goes along. And, oh, no, is he going to see the starport? He yeah. does. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> oh, no. How did the Marine find it? Was he chasing something? Or? Yes, he was. He was chasing this SEV. That he SEV. Was... Oh, dumb SEV. You just gave away your entire strategy. So do we see an engineering bay? Yes, there's an engineering bay actually already completed leading now for power. That yep. was super fast. And an evolution chamber for Protech is uh, nearly done as well. A round of 10 drones going up. I wonder if he'll build 10 spore crawlers. <laughs> <laughs> we saw him... Uh do quite a bit of defense, like a ton of defense. Like I've seen 2v2 players don't do things halfway in life. They're either, you know, super, super aggressive and just producing nonstop units, or they're super, super turtling. Like there's not a lot of just like mid game aggression or things like that. Well, of there course, we... they don't do things halfway, they have to do everything doubled. It's 2v2. Oh, God. Um, but we have Sport Crawler 1 and 2 coming up, so that's 20% of your earlier prediction of 10 Sport Crawlers. Yeah. Uh, Select is going to make his way in with this Banshee, and there's already a bunch of Marines that are and in range. Turret. Yep. So that is going to allow him to be pretty secure against those, although that Banshee did manage to pick off two quick Marines there, but certainly not worth the investment yet. Starport now coming down for power, probably going to be making some Vikings just to deter those Banshees a little bit more. Cloak 
is going to be done soon here for Select. But more interesting than that, triple Stargate starting for Optic Zero. This is the, the strategy that's worked for them the most. It's just get a lot of air superiority. And Zerg Terran really don't have a ton of options until you can get out those Vikings Infestors or Mass Hydras, which Hydras really don't stand up too well in 1v1. It's kind of not seen very much in 2v2 either as mm -hmm. a result. You know, this is kind of interesting, though, because this Banshee... No, it's not been terribly cost effective yet. I realize that. He's invested a ton of tech into all of these uh, into these structures, into the banshees, the technology, so on and so forth. But what it has done is it's forced power and protect into a very defensive position, something that they're not accustomed to. And the longer they sit back, the more these three Stargates are going to be able to pump out all of these Phoenixes. And this is going to represent a huge Air Force or Optic Zero very, very soon. So maybe they didn't do all the damage that they wanted, but Still they did. On that guy. Yeah, but they did force the game on their terms. Yeah, they. I mean, I'm sure Power and Protect have played enough games, then they usually do have detection up regardless, uh, but maybe this time it's a little bit faster, maybe this time it's a little bit more coverage needed, and yeah, they're stuck inside their base, except Protech is now taking a gold base uh, way up in the top of the map, but this first wave of six Phoenixes on the way for Optic Zero, not sure what they're going to be targeting, maybe just some Overlords, maybe that Viking now that's chasing away Select's Banshee, and they're going to actually run right into this Overseer here in just a moment, and probably take it out without too much coffee. Absolutely, that over here trying to get its way back to the missile turret, but it can't do it. At the same time, uh, this Banshee is still doing some pretty good damage as well. Just became uncloaked. Oh, are these units going to come back and save it? No, Banshee goes down, unfortunately. But uh, it will be picked off pretty quickly by the Phoenixes. Yeah, the Phoenixes uh, may just want to... Well, actually, they really can't do much in the way of stopping Protag. I mean, normally you can see some Queen lifts and Overlord kills and things like that, but since there are already so many Spore Crawlers scattered around that creep-covered area, those Phoenixes really won't be able to do that much to him. Uh, Spire's finished. Corruptors are on the way. we got two more Gateways coming now and Void Rays being built for Optic Zero, so this is just the money number of Phoenixes. Optic Zero just getting six out as quick as he can to keep that air control uh, as long as he can to get the Void Rays actually into commission. And it looks like there's a couple of Corruptors coming up here as well. Nice choice by the um, Phoenixes to go ahead and move themselves back. And look at this. We have a Sport Crawler and two Spine Crawlers already being started here. A ton of Corruptors coming over. And Optic Zero is going to have to back away. Loses two Phoenixes, unfortunately. Doesn't really do much damage to those high HP and armored uh, Corruptors up. So those Phoenixes are going to have to back away. And this is a pretty stout air defense against the eventual Void Ray Wall that we're going to see out of Optic Zero. Yeah, and obviously Protech and Power have had some time to watch these games. They're online anyway because they have been playing <laughs> eventually, so I'm sure they've been watching uh, the other matches that Select and Optic Zero have been playing against um, those earlier teams, MYM for example, and I think they've seen, you know, the Phoenix Banshee play enough to figure out where this is headed, so they're doing a good job of taking preventative measures. He's going to lose a few drones. Protech is going to lose a few drones here at his gold base. There's only one Spore Crawler in range of those Phoenixes. Optic Zero may be trying to cover too much ground here with his remaining Phoenixes, and they are way faster than the Corruptors, but they definitely have to run away. There's no way they can take those on in a head up, heads-up engagement, but all these tanks and Marines now for Select, of course, he's been busy cranking out some units after the Banshees sort of fizzled away, um, sort of lost their effectiveness. It looks like Blink is coming now for Optic Zero as well. Mass Blink Stalker and Void Rays could be an interesting composition. We'll just have to see how it works out. Yeah, especially if they can get up underneath those Corruptors and pick off a couple or at least force them to turn around, and then he advances in with the Void Rays and does damage after that. Right now, though, nice transition from Optic Zero over to these very, very heavy gateway uh, units. At the moment, there's just a couple of Zerglings and Corruptors. That's all that we have. These are going to turn into Broodlords, though, eventually, which is going to increase the effectiveness of the uh, Void Race uh, very much. Don't get me wrong, but that's still Broodlords. And those are going to be really powerful against the Siege units that Select is bringing bear. Yeah, Select and Optic Zero scoring some free damage right now. Probably going to be able to take out this hatchery without much problem. And we'll see sort of what Destiny and Minigun had to face here, getting pinned inside of this uh, base up here. Um, it looks like, uh, I can't really tell what's going on, like, Corruptor's not really doing anything here until engaging these Void Rays now, so actually Corruption spammed all over the place, wow. taking those Void Rays and Phoenixes out incredibly quickly, but we expected that just because of the sheer number of Corruptors. The Hatchery was taken out, as expected, but, uh, Hack 
power or hack protec and power still alive without too much loss there killed a lot of uh, fighting units from their enemies yeah, absolutely if we take a look at the uh, army supply we have about 230 for uh power tech and we only have about 190 for select and optic zero so a big advantage there for power tech they are up in workers as well 77 drones on the field now for pro tech he is going to need to get a third base established very quickly maybe even need to think about a fourth as well but he does have a significant number of forces he has quite a bit of resources as well so he could morph in four brood lords right now or almost a fifth as well if he wanted to convert over to those uh, especially because optic zero is just going over to a heavy gateway based army it looks like he may try to blink his way into the base of power he does so power really doesn't have many units left everything was in the middle of the map they're being forced back it actually forces a stim out of him already this orbital command may go down oh it's being saved he needed to attack that right away he can't do it anymore he has to blink away and it looks like he is going to be trapped by a bunch of forces here that big old blink force effectively thwarted. The Corruptor's still not really able to do anything and select. Now I'm in the middle of the map at the same place where Power Tech was just a moment ago, so at least he did get to draw those forces all the way back home and basically alerted them that um, if you leave your base again, I'm just going to blink in again. So it's good to apply that pressure even if it didn't actually kill anything that time. Psionic Storm is being researched now by Optic Zero as well. Planetary Fortress coming up for power at this uh, sort of third or fourth 